I'm going to show you a really easy way to do a confidence interval for proportions using your calculator, starting with this example. So we've got this survey of 500 high school students, 320 of them said that yes, they plan to attend college. We want to find the 95% confidence interval that contains this true proportion or percentage. And I'm also going to show you how to find the margin of error. This confidence interval is going to tell us that we're 95% sure that the actual proportion of high school students is between the lower limit and the upper limit. All of this lives in the stat menu. So I'm gonna to go to stat and then arrow over to tests. And then I'm gonna arrow down until I find a proportion interval. So as I'm arrowing down, I find it right here. I've got a one proportion Z interval or a two proportion. We just have that single sample of 500 students. So this is a one proportion Z interval. I'm gonna hit enter and it's asking me for all of these things. It wants to know what X is, what N is, and what our confidence level is. What they're really asking for here is P hat, which is our sample proportion. You could also call this a sample fraction or a sample percentage. It is X divided by N. After we do this example, I'm gonna show you a more challenging one where they give you just the sample percentage instead of these numbers. So in our case, X is the smaller number, that's 320, and N is the size of our sample, which is 500. We can get those right into the calculator. So X is 320, N was 500, and I do want that confidence level of 0.95, and then I'll hit calculate. This is gonna give me the interval that says that the true proportion with 95% confidence is between 0.59793, about 59.7%, and 0.68207 or about 68.2%. It also gives me that P hat, which is X divided by N. To find that margin of error, I wanna take the upper number in my interval, which was 0.68207 and subtract the lower number 0.59793. This gives me the entire length of the interval, but the margin of error is half of that length. So I'm gonna hit my slash key or my division key and then divide by two, and I get that margin of error of 0.0427. So now I can take that sample proportion, which was 320 over over 500, but as a sample proportion, I've got this plus or minus 0 0.04207. We are 95% confident that it lives in this range. Let's see. As promised, this one has a sample percentage that 48% instead of a number. So it says that 48% of those 1,200 said they support this new initiative. We wanna do two things again, including the 90% confidence interval this time and the margin of error. But first, we know that we're gonna need X and N, and we know that we can find that sample proportion, which we're given in this case, by doing X divided by N. Now, we've got 1,200, that's the total number in our survey, so 1,200 is N. Over in my sample proportion, that P hat, I can replace N with 1,200. The other number that I'm given is 48%. 48% is my sample proportion, so I can replace P hat with 0.48. I wanna solve this for X because my calculator needs that X number. If I cross multiply, I'm gonna take 48% or 0.48 times 1200 to get to my value of X. I can compute this in my calculator and I get 576, but I'm gonna show you an easier way to do this as you're typing your values in. We're gonna go back to the stat menu, over to tests, looking for that one proportion interval. Um, there it is, one proportion Z interval, and then hit enter. Now I wanted X, and I could put that 576, but you can also do your calculation right here and do 0 0.48 times 1200. Now I'm gonna give you a really important warning. If you ended up with a decimal, say you ended up with 575.9, your calculator will give you an error. This can only be a whole number, so you would wanna round that to the 576. In this example, N was 1200, 
And we're not doing a 95% confidence interval, we are doing a 90% confidence interval. And we are 90% sure that our actual proportion of voters lives between 0.45628 and 0.50372. To find that margin of error, let's take that upper number of 0.50372 and subtract that lower number of 0.45628. This gives me the entire length of the interval, but we want half, so I'm gonna divide that by two, and I've got my margin of error, so I can express this confidence interval as my sample proportion, which is my estimate, so 0.48, plus or minus 0.02372. More stats on the TI-84 here. 